Good morning. My name is John Babulik and I'm here in Algonquin Park on Lake at the end of a four-day photography slash fishing trip. I have to admit I've been um, canoe tripping for some 60 odd years off and on, but I haven't done a solo trip for some time. So when I got ready for this trip, I packed up all the gear that I had, all my usual stuff, and uh, talked to my son because he's been doing a lot of tripping lately. And he pointed out that he said, Dad, you can't use all that stuff. He says, you gotta, I'll lend you my stuff. He said, like, for example, that I've, I'll lend you my Nemo tent and dining shelter, which weighs half the amount of weight of that two-man tent you've been using. And those stainless steel pots of yours just have to go here, use this. So he lent me all this latest high-tech uh, equipment. And I gotta tell you, it's wonderful. The uh, people in the industry have done a wonderful job developing and bringing stuff up to make it so much more user friendly for those of us that like to get out in the out of doors. So it's been a real great experience. I do have to say though that probably one of the best pieces of equipment that I've got is this canoe. This one is a 17 foot Laker made by Backcountry Custom Canoes. It weighs 38 pounds. And you wonder why on your, your solo tripping, why do you need a 17 foot canoe? Well, I like to move up and down. I'm a photographer. I like to move up and down in the boat. And it's not unusual for me to pull into the reeds and just sit there. I actually lie down on the bottom of the boat and I handhold my camera and I wait for things to happen. And sometimes I'm there for hours. So having the boat, which is light, I can handle it easily, is very stable and I can move up and down is extremely important to me. And when you are tripping, as I am on this trip, you've got tons of room for your gear. I wanted to share with you some of the things that I've done. You'll notice here I've got my camera and it's set up on a tripod. Now, for some of you, you'd say, well, you're one of those kinds of photographers. Well, I'm not really. I usually hand held, hand hold, but I also like to shoot in the early morning hours when the mist is still rising and you get some really dramatic effects. At that time of day, you can't use that fast shutter speed. And that fast shutter speed eliminates the handshake that you have with hand holding the beast like this. So by putting it on a tripod, you gain that extra stability and you can use much lower shutter speeds and therefore shoot in much lower light, which is very important. The other advantage of a tripod like this is if you're sitting there waiting for a loon to stand up and do that famous wing flap that you're just dying to get that picture of. You can be sitting there, you anticipate that he's going to do it, you can be anticipating as long as you like, but pretty soon you're gonna get tired holding this camera up and you drop it down and at that moment, up comes the wing flap. So having it on a tripod, you're already almost on him before you even start. So the tripod has a couple of major advantages. This one I've lashed into the canoe. Uh, it gives me the, the flexibility that I, I want. The problem with this particular one, and I chose the wrong tripod for this application, is you'll notice this one is, is fairly high. The legs have three sections, and ideally you'd use one that has four sections so you can get lower. The lower you get down as to the water, the better it is. You'll have much more dramatic shots, much more interesting photography if you get that camera down low, as close to the water as you possibly can, which is the advantage of hand holding, of, of course. So I've got this, all this lightweight equipment, and I just need to share with you my Achilles heel, because if you look at this camera and this, and this lens, it's a 200, 500 lens, it's a great lens. The camera is terrific. I love it, all made by Nikon. And I love this equipment, but lightweight, it is not. And I'll show you some of the other stuff that I've carried and some of the things that I'm... So let me just move over here and I'll pull my pack out so you get a better look at it. So let me just show you the equipment that I use. And on this particular trip, I have my uh, Nikon D850 with a battery pack attached because that gives me a faster, a faster frame rate. I also have my 200 to 500 zoom lens. I like the zoom lens because it gives me the flexibility to get close-ups, shots which are more environmental, and also to really zoom in and get the huge detail. Things like hairs on animals, feathers, fantastic detail if you can get in tight enough. And that 500 millimeter let, lets me do that. 
over here I've got my camera bag. Now you can see that this is an ordinary dry pack, but inside the dry pack is a pretty much ordinary camera case. And inside the camera case is where I have my equipment. So the camera would normally sit in here with that lens attached. I also have another lens. This one is a 28-300. It's not the sharpest lens that Nikon makes, but it gives me lots of flexibility and it's not that heavy and not that, that bulky to, to use. So I brought that lens. On this trip, two lenses only, plus my teleconverter, which I can add on to this lens, and that will extend the range from 500 millimeters to 700 millimeters. Handy on those rare occasions, but you do lose some light and some, some detail when you go to that. Also, I carry spare batteries. You don't want to get caught home without it. I have also with me uh, spare memory cards because you're going to shoot a lot. And I carry two filters with me, a neutral density filter for those opportunities where you're going to want to slow things down, such as waterfalls, and you want to get that nice silky feeling. And also a polarizer to, get, to eliminate some of the glare on the water if you're shooting uh, animals on the water. So that's basically my equipment. But as I said, my Achilles heel, this pack with the camera in it, is the heaviest piece of equipment that I've got compared to it weighs more than the canoe, it weighs more than my food pack, and wore more than my duffel bag with all my other gear on it. So come on Nikon, help us old guys out. Let's get on with that new mirrorless lens, uh, camera that you've been talking about, that high-end camera to replace this kind of gear so that we are back all in the lightweight mode. So that's my story. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, happy tripping.